When you're in your teens and you want to get away from your parents and into the pub, one way to do it is to take up Morris dancing. That's how it was for Pamela. See kids come to Morris and join in. Morris won't wait for anybody. They're always on time. Rubbish. Look at the pigs fly. Carol, at the age of four, saw some Morris dancers outside her local post office. And that's how the seed was planted that led her not only to the pub, but to play that black snaky serpent thing. May I introduce you to the implausibly famous Kits Cotty Morris from Maidstone in Kent, who even now are working up a thirst. They're a congenial bunch of people and reckless enough to put up with having the Springer sisters in their midst. A big passion and pastime of thousands of English men and women is Morris dancing. In some ways we're no different. I like Morris dancing and I like playing for it. One of the members is already here. And it's, oh no! And it's Iggy, it's Iggy the dinosaur! Iggy's nearly always with us with the Morris, suddenly appears to frighten everybody, including our dog Melstock. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about Iggy? Iggy is considerably older than most of us and um, he actually is he's quite a nice, nice soul really. Um, he's an iguanodon, which means he's not um, a meat eater. He likes vegetables and most of all Morris means flowers off the hat. Um, Iggy the bony bit was dug up in Maidstone and uh, he's also on the Maidstone coat of arms so he's an, in fact real and an historic character and actually can be seen in, <laughs> as, the, um, as the mantle stone, Maidstone slab in uh, the Natural History Museum and um, he follows us around, he's quite a nice chappy really he belongs to the, is it the Union of Fools and Beasts Oh yeah, both bread. <laughs> right, Peter, you're the fool. What do you actually do in Kids Cutty Morris? Well, I, my job is to motivate Stop people waving. and get people moving about and to rally them round and make the general public aware that we're there. And you sweep the floor? And I sweep the floor because I've got a very pretty broom. Your feet are a bit different. Yeah, you've got, got yellow yeah, socks. Yeah, yellow socks, yellow shoes, everything to match. And that's, that's and double shirt, yellow that's, line paint, isn't it? That is double yellow line paint. You're and you've right. got a, under there, I think, there's... You look a bit like a jockey underneath. Oh, I know, jockey to the fair, that's a dance with me. <laughs> <laughs> Paul is probably one of the shortest people in the team usually, oh, is that true? Yeah, yeah, shortest, <laughs> because you can get cutest? away with anything. I am definitely going to be on there. Where do they dance? Mostly pubs, of course, but here, their arena is a carriage on the Kent and East Sussex Steam Railway. Of course, some of the Morris are also musicians, and here they are playing a few tunes between stations. A two minute stop at a station is an opportunity for a quick dance and then back on the train. This is one of the Collins at the side, the other one being down there. Might be thought Hello. more important than the squire, apart from the fact he's a bit smaller. What exactly is, is, is a foreman Colin? Well, the foreman is the, terminal, the Morris terminology for dancing instructor. It's my role. 
Colin does a Morris jig, while the rest of the side look on in awe. Or are they hoping he will miss the train? We can have Hopper's Ale, probably released for £2.50. We can have the Rother Valley Ale. And this young lady is all the way from America. All the way from America. Oh. You guys as well? Yes, I do. I love the guys. Pick his nose with his eyes. This fine figure of a man here is Adrian. He is the squire of Kit's Cotty Morris. Who exactly is the squire apart from you? The squire is the chairman of the side and the person to whom all um, problems are related. Basically, I make the decisions and everybody else then does as they like. Do you foresee in the future in your squad that there might come a time when your arms could not be long enough to reach around your beard gut to play the concert? No, because it can be played up this way as well. Oh, good <laughs> Here they are at another station and doing another dance called Postman's Knock. It's the end of their day, but no doubt there'll be many more days like it. Pamela's collecting is never-ending. Now, it's car mascots. Here's one from a 1934 Firebird. And that's, of course, a Firebird. For instance, this is a stalk from a Hispano Suiza, a, a Spanish car. So here's one off a guy, lorry, an Indian. Rather a bit different, they're all painted up. It's got a bit knocked around this one has but 1930s cars especially the art deco period sweeping maskers to go on the front of very large cars some cars could be recognized by their mascots here's an armstrong sidley sphinx sometimes they're sitting up like that or a little one lying down A cartoonist during the First World War, called Bruce Benn's father, created a character called Old Bill. And here is Old Bill, made into a mascot. During the, during the later parts of the First World War and into the 20s and early 30s, called Cocking a Snoot. Snook. A snook, right? A snoot? A snook. Snook. Cocking. It was through Morris dancing that a teenage Pamela got hooked on cars, getting lifts from a fellow dancer who drove a vintage Alvis. Carol's interest stems from the vehicles owned by her farming father. The annual London to Brighton veteran car run is yet another chance to see hundreds of cars and catch up with other old car fanatics. <laughs> Hello, Pam. Oh, how are you? Oh, nice Lovely to meet to you. See you. Yeah, yeah. Shake my Hello, hand. Carol. Hello. Oh, nice to see you. Yeah. Hello, Bill Scott. Well, hey. I'm not really surprised you're here with all these cars going past. I know. Yeah. What a day for it. Do you always come on this? Every year. Uh, every... yeah, Flash went past me, and it was the day here. Oh, I mean, big the... grin on his face. Pull, up, Magic. pull 80 mile an hour that car. Okay. Little uh, side bar forward. That was okay. It's a 1950s blacksmith shop. My bar oh, is. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, but it's we do. We do. You your house or where? Come around any time and see it. Be lovely. Yeah, there'll be beer. Oh well, Timothy Taylor. Indeed. It's an old. 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 <laughs> There's another old. Then. That's, that's Are they all older. the same make? The Chain drives. I know. Like the girls are rambling, but I am yeah, injecting yeah, a yeah. necessary element of gravitas to this part. Oh, look oh, that over one there, well. there's Jamila. Yes, they have yeah. a problem with have you, they did. Carol, have you seen there? There's Jamila over there. Look, like your face. Eric Tyler. Oh, what? Oh, God. Rock and roll, man. Rock I roll. heard a rumour yes. that someone told me, I'm not saying who, that you often take a banjo round in your car and 
very sadly sit it's in the back playing sad. it. It's sad. It's very sad indeed. I don't, I'm trying you to, haven't today, have I'm trying you? to make friends. Well, there is a banjo in the car. Oh, no. I'm really Do you know, oh, I think this is the saddest thing. I'm into banjos, but taking it out on a classic car run well, is... Well, nobody else will come with me. I can... What a truly amazing day. We've seen not only the pre-1905 veteran cars, but numerous other slightly younger vintage and classic vehicles and bikes as well. They've all come to be part of the spectacle by watching from the roadside or following the veterans. But it's these veterans that are the stars, even if some of them don't quite make it to the finish. Here are the girls again. They've encountered a certain gentleman's club with their Rolls Royce. Rowton. Gentlemen's from. Are we going to go on doing one word at a time? Yes. Right, well, can we let him do a word now? It's your car, is it? Yes. And that's a Rolls Royce shooting brake 19. Uh, Rolls Royce Safari bike. Safari? Safari wagon. It, that explains the, the pit helmets. And some of you are wearing moustaches and some of the glasses are wearing moustaches. And it's off home again after another satisfying day in the busy lives of the Springer sisters. But it isn't over till it's over. And you'll see more if you stick around.